all right it's time that we show you how to open up these four cell modem packs these are very very popular right now they're the model vpv 044 s and these are usually 2200 milliamp hour cells there's four of them there's a ton of them that come with the wrappers right so they're brand new uh and i guess maybe some used ones are mixed in there i don't know but they're uh they're yielding almost full capacity or 95 percent capacity on these so maybe a lot of them are brand new they're not used and they come mixed all together for a very good price so uh if you've seen one of these other videos all you need is a hammer and one of these scrapers and then if you want to be fancy then you can get the handle for it but you know i'm i'm a hack so you know i just some pliers some pliers will do for me and here's what you do you put it right here on the table you see that seam right there in the center okay well on that seam you put the one of these blades here and then you whack it and then you take this thing and then you whack it that one went in there it cracked it there you go so then you turn it around the other one look at that look at that there we go bam and you get the blue ones there's different cells that come in these ones. I pre-opened two more in here and all of these are coming up with the blue ones. Let's uh, first open a few of these to see what they come in. All right, this ones we got the green ones, Samsung's. Right, more blues. Alright, and these are the light blue ones. Okay. Oh, these ones are reds. Baby blues. Alright, now that you've done the easy part, which is to get the half, you know, the one side off, this next part is a bit tricky. There are two big giant globs of glue in here and in here holding those cells so if you try to pull them apart like this uh it's it's you'll make a mess out of it because this starts loosening up and it's sharp and it could cut you and you can shorten it out you, you know it's, it can get tricky really easy so the the best way that i found to open this part is to use something like this this is a PCB right of my um, you know uh, DC power strip right I just cut in half then I made two little pieces here and this is the right shape size and consistency of material that that really need to do this if you make a, this little tool right and here's what you're gonna do I'm gonna show you so you put the cell like this right uh, on the bottom side, I guess the bottom side is probably the best way to do it. And then you get your little tool here, and make sure you don't do it right in the center because this does have uh, these parts that are conductive. Although they're not really conductive, they're just conductive up, just so that you there's less chance of you shorting this out. Um, a PCB without any you know exposed traces would be best but of course i'm just you know this is um improvising here so what you do is you grab it and then you put it in here all right there we go you put it in there and then you just shove that thing in there you just push it push 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 all right and then yeah, and then you, what you do is you just swing it out, and then you put it right on the edge over here. Bam! And just like that, 
this part came out and look at what you did you were able to dislodge those two giant gloves of glue which otherwise is almost impossible to do and you didn't mark well there's uh, sometimes you could do it without marking up the the um shrink the shrink uh, wrapping on these cells right so there you go let's see if we can do it again the bottom is the, the right way to do it look at that bam just came off like that there we go bam Bam, there we go. Bam. Bam, look at that. Yeah, and then it's over there, it's easier, see? Bam. All right. So the next step is really easy. All you have to do is cut all these cables, right? There we go. Then you disconnect this guy. Okay, so now this you discarded because this you don't need. So what you can do is you grab that in there and then you you swing it out. And just like that, that came off. Then you grab this guy and also swing it out. Then you grab this piece and look at that, just like that. Oh, there's some tape in here. You cut that tape. And just like that. So then you grab that guy. That's out. Take this tape off. This one here. Okay, now we have the glue. So what I usually like to do is get, uh, you know, some exacto knife there, and then just grab it and then cut that off. Just the big chunks. There you go. All right. I mean, you can spend a lot of time doing this, or you can spend very little just grabbing the major parts. There you go. That's enough so it doesn't. Uh, you know, interfere with the normal use of that. See, because there are big globs of glue there. So, all we have to do is just cut those off. All right, I hope this is helpful to a lot of you guys out there that are buying these. There are currently a ton of these, right? And they're not the easiest ones to take apart as you saw in this video, but because there's so many of them and because they're so cheap, uh, it's worth the extra work to take these apart, right? Um, these are by far the most economic cells that you'd find out there and there's several places that are offering them. There are currently thousands of these, but here's the thing, you gotta move on because there's like thousands of you guys that are looking for affordable cells, right? And these are about the most affordable that you get. So they will be gone in a matter of, I don't know, days probably, right? So if you're building a large battery packs like a lot of us, uh, these are great for that. And so make sure you click that link below so that you can get your very own. All right, I wanna thank you for watching this video and we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.